What is going on guys? We are back with another video and we have another travel vlog today. We're getting ready to go to Las Vegas, which I'm super excited for, waiting for this trip for a long time. I get to be in some warmth. Because it is extremely windy out right now. I'm gonna try and set this down. Okay. It is very windy out right now. Um, when we were young, which is the music festival we were here for, day one got canceled because of the wind. So we are rearranging plans. Bought a ticket for day two tomorrow. So flip flopping. So first day in Vegas today, we're getting a workout in at Dragon's Lair, which I've really wanted to do for a long time. Stopped at the gas station, picked up uh, Ghost Energy, Rice Krispie. We're gonna snack on these on the way over to the gym, and then we're not gonna do a lot of talking on the way over because it is extremely windy, and I doubt you can hear anything of what I'm saying as I walk over. Once I leave this storage container, I think we're gonna hit chest and triceps today um i think we're gonna do chest and triceps i don't know we'll see see the equipment in there i know they have a ton of arsenal equipment which i'm super excited to use um and so we might just kind of hit a little bit of everything bounce around and try out some new equipment that we don't really have access to but then have some fun with it
we are back home or not home but the place we're staying it has been a crazy morning afternoon I don't even know it's five o'clock right now it's been a crazy day so far between when we were young getting canceled this morning due to wind um, which did not expect that to happen um, but it did then scrambling to find a ticket for tomorrow to still go because I'm as nice as it is to just travel I wasn't coming out here just to come out here I wanted to go to the festival to see the bands I wanted to see you know experience all that um, so I was gonna find a ticket for tomorrow which luckily I did and we kind of got a steal because they are refunding all the tickets for today and then I found a ticket for tomorrow that ended up being cheaper than face value so it was cheaper than what it was originally sold for but then with obviously the festival now being or going to the festival now tomorrow today was free and wide open so we got our workout in today which we went to Dragon Slayer which was sick Dragon Slayer is probably the best gym that I've ever been to to this point um, perfect size not too big not too small um, I will say it might be a little bit more like cramped and compact like a lot of the equipment was really tight together in some areas um, just because I have so much of it but it's like all basically Arsenal and Prime stuff super nice good section of turf um, but yeah really dope gym really dope vibe and energy there um, yeah it was just a great <laughs> great experience a little weird with filming um, it felt alright getting the clips that I did um, and I mainly, mainly kind of got clips more towards the back um, away from everything I saw there's another some other people filming with an actual camera there as well but they had someone holding it behind um, and I don't know, some people were seemed a little weird about me having a tripod. They didn't say anything, but I kind of got a vibe. It was a little, little weird with like the tripod. And so, um, just really got stuff from like the back of the gym and like not with a lot of it behind me. But still got a decent amount of clips. Bounced around with the workout. No structure at all. Just hit um, a lot of the machines that I didn't. I've never used before. The standing shoulder press machine was is might be my favorite machine to date. It felt so good. I'm not a fan of shoulder pressing, especially like standing military press. Not a fan at all. That machine though, with the way you can you can like adjust the handle to where it kind of rotates like this. So I had it slightly in like this, and it felt amazing. But yeah, felt good. And then the wind, yeah, it was just insane so got some in and out naturally as you do when you're out west but yeah just kind of rolling with what we got no real structure to this especially now that with plans being what they are everything's kind of just up in the air the festival tomorrow should be good we'll get some stuff there super excited for that um one to see the bands that i want to see there and two for checking out the ghost tent there and connecting and linking up with some people at the ghost tent which will be sick and should be really cool to experience because I haven't I've gone to one of their pop-ups before but I haven't gone to one of their like big one of the big things they do at the festivals they've gone to so far and so far what I've seen on social media what they set up at festivals is crazy they got different different things that they normally don't have at just the smaller pop-ups so looking forward to that also but we'll probably be back tomorrow with when we were young
Welcome to the Remy the Horizon Post Human Live Experience. Scanning for Mosh Pits. Contraband detected. Bring Me the Horizon have a zero tolerance policy on drugs. Those in possession of any illicit substances are advised to consume them now. Initializing. Can you feel my heart? insane I had a few clips up there and I wanted to check in at the festival and kind of talk and show stuff it was insanely fucking loud <laughs> a lot of fucking people in a not that big a space um, and especially with how the stages were set up you were always in an area where there was music being played which is awesome if you're going, but if you're trying to vlog or do stuff like this, it doesn't work well. So, um, there's always sound being projected somewhere like super strong. Um, and so it just did not work to do a check in, update, talk about what was going on at all. So, we got clips obviously of bands that we saw fucking insane that they were all there in one spot and that it actually happened after being canceled Saturday. That was a big disappointment. And this was a huge, like just the boost of dopamine and serotonin from last night. It was insane. My throat really hurts from fucking screaming with My Chemical Romance and Bring Me the Horizon. Both of their shows, Bring Me the Horizon, put on one of the best concerts I think I have ever seen period um just even like the stage was limited just because it had to be rotated so many times <clears throat> but they still had an amazing setup amazing screens amazing lights um so I can only imagine what one of their true shows would be like um but yeah that was absolutely crazy and I'm gonna sit on the floor and prop this up. And yeah, it was insane. Um, first year when we were young. Overall, they did a really good job. Crazy experience. I'm super happy that I one bought a ticket, so it forced me to come out here. Then two found the resale ticket for Sunday. So that it wasn't a wasted trip out here because I would have had major regret <laughs> seeing um, everything go down and just knowing I wasn't there so super happy that I went to it and also part of this video that I wanted to make was if you live alone and you're single and like you do a lot of stuff or you live, you live alone a lot of the time like you have friends obviously but you live alone do shit that you love and you want to do even if it means going alone i went to this festival alone had an experience of a lifetime um saw some people there that i knew um but i didn't go with anyone and so i went to all the shows by myself and it was incredible um so don't hold back on places you want to go things you want to see whatever it may be travel concerts sporting events whatever like go do shit that you love even if it means going by yourself because it's worth it um and going to something like this like you're surrounding yourself with people like you um instead of maybe taking trying to take someone that doesn't really want to go and isn't super into it like i asked my brother if he wanted to go to this and he wasn't super into this type of music, which is fine, and he's also a lot younger younger than me, so that makes sense. Um, but I'm just like, fuck it, I'll just do it on my own. This is something that I really want to do, um, and I'm super happy I did it. So don't not do something just because you're going to do it alone. Like, 
do it even if you're alone. It'll be an amazing experience. I'm here. This is the last day in Vegas. We'll see what comes up these last few hours. What we're gonna do right now though is get we got a little ghost. Ignore that. A little ghost hydration packet from the festival yesterday. So we're gonna get a little hydration in post festival. Mm -hmm. 